Entermet clattered into the, the centre back, and the ref sees that as a free kick. Wolves in the Cardiff third. Cardiff back, plenty of bodies out. Gennison with the foul. Immediately made the run forward off the ball, and had the referee not been kind to Wolves, it would have been a counter attack to Cardiff, as it is a free kick to Wolves. Marshall puts the ball into the area. Could go anywhere, and it's a goal for Wolves. And it was headed back across goal, and it was the captain, Danny Bath, who got the telling touch, couldn't miss really, and uh, Wolves take the lead in this one. It's a defensive breakdown from Cardiff from the set piece. The ball hung up to the back post. Cardiff don't win the first ball. This ball nodded back then to the near post area. I think it's Andy Vyman is completely unmarked and unselfishly just sends a looping header back into the danger area. And Danny Bath is a man that can rise above all else and just nod the ball home from two or three yards. It's poor from defending from Cardiff and there's a, there's a bit of a conference going on now. Yeah. Amongst the defensive unit to see uh, to see where the breakdown occurred. Yeah, it's Jazz Richards who's uh, Gunnison winds up for the throw. It's in the area, Zoho heads in and it's a goal for Cardiff. Offside was not given and Zoho scores his first headed goal, I believe, for the Bluebirds. 1-1. Well, talk about a breakdown in the defensive unit. We've seen two in the space of four minutes. And that one's pretty criminal from Wolves. Nobody stays in. The defensive line just step forward. It's a long throw towards the near post, looking for Saul Bamba. The initial head is won by a Wolves defender. And Jazz Richards does ever so well to atone for his own error at the other end. He just closes down the defender very quickly and somehow manages to wrap a leg around the defender and steal the ball away from him. And support. Right foot, a decent looking ball towards the back post, headed away, kept alive by Helda Costa, turns it back in Goldwoods, Manga didn't get a hold of it, but uh, it's a poor effort by Dave Edwards and McGregor's down well. Yeah, there's a couple it's of mistakes house because two years ago he and young Dominic Eofer had superb seasons for Wolves. Gunnison with the long throw again into the mix, Messi, Hoylet gets a shot away and it's a corner. And somehow one card if another corner, really good play. Rolls again. Good looking ball. Oh, it's flapped at. And the goalkeeper gathers at the second time of asking. He's had a good game in possession. And it's opening in 23 minutes. Uh, Giles Richards has been a willing runner. He's made things happen for Cardiff. It's been a good foil for Junior Hoylett. Oh, that's a good ball. And this is Ben Marshall running towards Morrison. Edge of the area. Into the area now. Go Wolves and McGregor. Gathers, it was held across to look to get his shot away, but I think Manga did just about enough in the end, and McGregor was able to gather. Yeah, you're right. And uh, the Wolves fans are turning a little. There's been some stray passes, and that dismayed noise has come back into Molyneux. Cardiff on the front foot again. Good ball. So we're inside the area. Square ball. Gunnison. Oh, and he's put it wide. That was a great opportunity. Oh, it's a delightful move from Cardiff. Absolutely cut Wolves open. And Gunnison, side-footed from the edge of the box, has put it wide of Lonergan's left hand upright by no more than a yard. Great awareness from Kenneth Zoho. More strikers in that situation will just look to roll that across the face of the goal and hope somebody can get him the back stick, but he sees the late arriving Gunnison at the edge of the box and just cuts the ball back accordingly into the space, into the D. It should have, should have resulted in a goal. Those fans get a little bit ratty. Costa comes forward, runs at Bamba, picks out Caballero. Caballero. It's back to Costa on his left foot. Infield to Marshall, who goes for goal, who was rising. Goal kick. And that's a little bit naive, Bruno Manga. <laughs> Just gets suckered in there by the little square ball. Free kick to Cardiff, 10 yards inside the Wolves half, central position, Wolves standing over it. Plays a deep ball into the box, Morrison's in there, heads across goal, but Zoho couldn't quite get to it. And it'll be a goal kick, half chance really. Awesome. It's back on now. Free kick, Marshall stands over it. 35 yards or so out, right footed, decent looking ball. Defended well by Cardiff, comes back to Costa. 
edge of the area. Strikes left footed into the welcoming grasp of McGregor. Rawls will take this free kick again into the mix. Left footed, Morrison goes up again. It's a flick off Morrison, says the referee. Not a chance, that's a corner. Yeah, it looked like it to me. It will Hasn't be given it, he's given the goal kick. But that New pink boot for Kenneth, he turned that down. Vyman, hopeful ball forward, Morrison first to it. Oh, and he's got himself in a pickle, Marshall edge of the area, tried to slide in his teammate, he should have shot, Manga's able to clear to the halfway line. Bath under pressure from Zoho, Bennett did well. But Wolves come forward, and it's a free kick over on that far touch line. Bennett penalised. I do think we might see five at the back as this game wears on. Free kick from the right, well attacked by Morrison. And Rawls completes the clearance. Rawls back in possession, no right footed cross. Decent looking ball and a goal. And that's really basic stuff. And Wolves have a lead that they barely deserve, and it's Danny Bath again. Yeah, second of the game. He said Cardiff, their own worst enemies, don't clear their lines. It is a wonderful ball swung over. We can't deny that. Right into the danger area. You know, it is the biggest weakness of Sean Morrison's game is he does struggle to defend that back post at times. He just gets out jumped by another man. And there's absolutely nothing a goalkeeper can do from short range. Just powers the header beyond McGregor. Corner kick Joe Rawls to take from this near side. The Cardiff right, left footed in swing it. Delivered towards the back post. Bamba Rose! And uh, didn't quite get enough on it. It's gone for a goal kick. That's a glorious off. Inclined to chase. Wolves now play it downfield. Morrison underneath it. It's all a bit ugly, this. Mm. Got three handballs in it. Wolves come forward, though. Three against two for the home side. Edwards, edge of the area. Marshall is blocked on the edge of the area. He no, says the referee. I think the referee got that right. And now he's given a free kick against Rawls. Who won the ball cleanly. Who won the ball clean. The linesman is flagging. He's given a non-decision on the edge of the box for a clear foul by Joe Bennett. And then, I think, desperately realised he made a mistake and wanted to make amends and has done so with the first opportunity. Yeah, Joe Rawls <laughs> stretching for a ball in midfield. He won the ball cleanly and then caught the man with the follow-through. I think this is pantomime. I, I must be honest, we'll have a look at the replay here, but... Wolves are desperately trying to get Joe Rawls sent off. I don't think there was enough in it. Well, he wins the ball cleanly. He's gone to ground, he hasn't gone with two feet. There's an outstretched left leg from Rawls. Wins the ball, and then in doing so, has caught uh, Andrews Feynman on the shin as a result. Now, I think what's happened is that uh, the linesman is sick. <laughs> Gettison with a long throw into the area, bodies go up, one of those was Morrison, he's headed wide for a goal kick. So well, they get anything on that. Wolves in possession, long ball forward by Bath, one in the air by Caviero. Well, from what we saw from much of the first half, you do think Cardiff can control the possession in this game. Oh, Richards, oh, it's a bit of a mistake, and McGregor's down to splare his blushes, Richards... Here's Ben Marshall, just inside the Cardiff half. Good ball forward, and he's... It was Edwards who'd beaten the offside trap, but just couldn't... Delivered, middle of goal, headed over. <coughs> By Danny Barth on a hat-trick. Yeah, hat-trick opportunity. And here's Bennett. The ball in field to Gunnison, and in turn to Craig Noon. First chance for Noon to run at Doherty. Coming in, field on his left foot, Noon goes for a goal, hits the post! And clear to safety. Uh, Matt Doherty will never learn. <laughs> this is <laughs> astonishing. The same pairing here <laughs> last season at Molyneux, where time and time again Matt Doherty allowed Craig Noon in on his left foot and he scored two absolutely. It looks like Potenden is going to be introduced pretty soon. Whittingham to take the corner. From the left, out swing it. Bodies go up, Morrison is in there, falls to Noon inside the box. Oh, took a touch too many still. Joe Bennett keeps it alive. 
Look for Whitten, gave it away. Wolves can break Bennett, goes sliding in and misses. It's three against one for Wolves. Costa into the area. Oh, it's a cross goal and it's off the line. Wolves have really made a hash out of that. That was embarrassing for the home side. Huge layout. Chance for Bod Varson here, comes into the area, gets away from two men across goal. Corner kick, Morrison at the nice one free kick. Four walls, beats everyone and goes for a goal kick. And he's asking him to play as a 10, I think, just behind the, the two of Zoho and Perkington. And Noon can't pick that up, Edwards finds Costa inside the area. Oh, that's a goal. Inside, outside, Paul Lambert's running down the touchline like an idiot. The whole bench are on the field. It's crazy stuff. But uh, Wolves have killed this one off. Yeah, it's a lovely finish. Being critical, Alan McGregor solves himself far too easily. Sean Morrison's twisted and turned inside the area. He needs to be helped out by his goalkeeper there, and he hasn't been done so. His goalkeeper's completely sold it himself at his near post. And He's allowed Costa to just roll the ball home. It's a tenth of the season for Costa. And you, when you pay £13 million for a player, it's the kind of return you expect, bare minimum. Cardiff looked as if they weren't entirely sure who was doing what when Pilkington came on. There's plenty of hand gestures of you go here, you go here, but... Oh, open the, arms then of we the, le the, le yeah. the legitimate switch Noon, out on the touchline over the edge of the box turns his man now into the area Craig Noon on his left foot goes at goal Lonergan is able to gather the result. Noon left footed delivery Mango with a poor header wide goal kick Connor House plays that forward Molson wins it in the air comes back Oh, and Bodvison will chase Banda here towards the goal, uh, so the uh, byline in field to Costa. Referee has uh, seen enough though and has uh, blown the whistle for full time. It's disappointment.